So the first of two bin packing algorithms that we're going to consider is the first fit algorithm. And it pretty much spells out what you're going to do. Consider that these items that we've got are coming along on a conveyor belt. And you're just going to take them off the conveyor belt and put them into the first available bin. That is what first fit is all about. So we're going to use the first fit algorithm to pack the following items into bins of size 20. Okay, so we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and K, and their uh, length or size is in the bracket. Okay, so we've got bin one ready and waiting. So I write down bin one, okay? Now, um, you'll want to kind of be clear in uh, when you work through this, um, as to what your values are. Now, I'm going to write on the right-hand side here the current availability, okay? So, currently there is 20 available space, and I'm going to reduce that each time I add an item into that bin, okay? So, I'm going to just close that off to make sure it's clear that that's not part of the lengths, okay? So, a comes along the conveyor belt. Rattling along the conveyor belt, you pick it up, you put it in bin 1 because it's of length or size 8. So we can put A8 into bin 1. Okay, I'm going to cross it off, and my available space has now gone down to 12. 20 take away 8. Right, B is coming along next. I pick it up. I go, right, can I fit it into bin 1? Well, yes, I can. B is of size 7. There is 12 available. And so B is going into bin 1. So there we go. And I would now have 5 left over. Right, C is coming along now. It's of size 14. Can it go into bin 1? No, because I've only got 5 left over. So I'm going to have to open up bin 2. And C is going to have to go in there. So we originally had 20, but we're now down to 6. Right, D is coming along next. That's of size 9. I can't fit it into bin 1. I can't fit it into bin 2. So it's got to go into bin 3. So D, size 9, is going into bin 3. So that did have a size of 20, but it's now down to 11. OK, E comes along next. It's of size 6. It can't go into bin 1. Now, notice how I keep on going back to bin 1, OK? So each time I look at this next value, I go, can it fit in bin 1? Can it fit in bin 2? Can it fit in bin 3? And I work my way down the list. Well, it can't go in bin 1, but it can go in bin 2. So E6 is going into bin 2, and I am now down to 0. Now, once you're down to zero, there's no more space, okay? No more space available. And we would refer to that as being saturated, okay? So it's useful to know that word at this stage. Right, so I can't fit anything more into bin two. Right, F comes along next. That's a size nine. It can't go into bin one, but it can go into bin three. So F nine. That's going into bin 3. I'm now down to 2 left for bin 3. Then we've got G comes along. Now, G can fit into bin 1. Excellent. So, G is going into bin 1. I'm now down to 0. And so, bin 1 is also saturated. OK. H with 15 is coming along next. I can't fit it into bin 1, 2, or 3, so I'm going to have to open up bin 4. H, 15. So I did have 20, but I'm now down to just 5. I is coming along next with length 6, but it can't go into bin 1, 2, 3, or 4, so I'm going to have to open up a new bin. Bin 5, I, 6. So it did have 20, but we're now down to 14. Okay, 
Then we've got J with 7 coming along. It can't go into bin 1, 2, 3, 4, but it can go into bin 5. So J7. So 14 take away 7 gets me down to 7. So that's J gone. And finally, we've got K8. But unfortunately, can't go to bin 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. So I'm going to have to go to bin 6. So bin 6, K is 8. So it was 20, but it's now down to 12. OK. So wasted space. Well, the total amount of wasted space, so total waste, wasted space, is 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 12. So 7, 14, 26. So 26 units. Not very good. OK. So the wonder then is, can I improve upon this? Can Is there a way of improving upon this? Um, and reducing that total wasted space and potentially reducing the number of bins that I'm using.